But I want to know, man, if you could pick somebody's art to color as far as a penciler, right? Who would you go with, man? Because, I mean, that's a deep list. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I always... So it depends because some I think some of my you know my style my color style can fit to some artists and it doesn't fit that much to some other. For example, uh, Jim Lee and um, Alex Sinclair is artist and colorist, and they're both amazing guys. And I don't know, maybe I'm I never work in DC again, but <laughs> I think. <laughs> Alice Sinclair's style can fit other artists better and Jim Lee can fit, you know, with other colors better because it, it happens sometimes. I mean, they're both amazing artists, but you see in the industry that, ah, these guys, they make like a really good matchup, you know? And I think, I don't know, uh, but talking about, I mean, that's just an example of where I'm going to, okay? Yeah. So, because I like some, like, I like to color these artists, but maybe it, my style wouldn't fit that much, you know. So that's why I'm bringing these guys like name, like that. That's just an example. Uh, but I would say, mm, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a face. But right now, I would like to work a lot more towards the style of not mainstream comic books, but for example, like Capcom or Uron, the guys that make Street Fighter. But it's mm -hmm. very different from Batman and Wolverine and all the stuff. That's not a mainstream comic book. And for example, I like Arnold Sank a lot. That I don't know if people know who that guy is. But it's like, I don't know if you know the video game Overwatch. I don't know if you guys have yeah, heard, I've heard of it. I do. It's, that's one of the main concept artists. That kind of style is something like right now I'm like, I would like to work with, you know. Because if you would ask me the same question, I don't know, a few years back, I would probably say something else. It's just like, oh, I've been working on Those are the like vibrant that. colors that you really like. It's, it's the bright, yeah. vibrant colors. Yeah, like... So I get, Dude, this is why so I for, swear... Fortnite I, in... Oh, in, uh, don't worry, see you on No, no, so no, like no, Fortnite bro. In, hold on, no, 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 Hardaway. I so want to see you color Savage Dragon, bro. Like, I really do. Based on everything you said in this interview, like, I really think... Savage Dragon is just it just based on the entirety of the conversation in the interview, man. And I mean, reading some Savage Dragon, everything that I have as far as in that regard. I mean, that's obviously a very vibrant comic book. I like that idea. I'm just throwing it out there to the world. Hire his ass to color Savage Dragon. <laughs> I'm sure fun, he wouldn't man. mind. That would be fun. I mean, I love it. I think. Yeah, I, I see it, you know, I, I, I see my style in that, coloring, I mean, color-wise, I see it, it would be fun, yeah, hell yeah. And for example, more than artists, I mean, I, mean, I know so many artists that it's crazy that I cannot think of, mm, I would like to do that. But for example, I'm going to say, like, I would like to work, like, in Aliens, Predator, all the kind of work dark oh. stuff, that's my thing. Or Star Wars, but you know, like dark, like dark horse kind of dark Star Wars. Oh hell yeah, man! I'm a big fan. Hell yeah. Oh no, that's yeah. that's look, Alien Predators, the original Alien versus Predator series that yeah. they did with Dark Horse, with uh, Miko, isn't it Miko? I yeah. think that's the character's name. I am an avid fan, man. I oh god, dude, you're lucky we didn't get into that during the interview. It would have been the whole fucking interview. <laughs> 